Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and after a long hiatus from this segment, welcome to another episode of Wild Asia. Now, this is a video of elephantine proportions because this episode is on the Asian elephant, or Elephas Maximus. So let's pack our trunk because this is an episode you will never forget. The Asian elephant lives in rainforests in many parts of Southeast Asia, from India to Sri Lanka to Thailand, all the way down into Indonesia. The Asian elephant has quite a few physiological differences from African elephants. Like for one, while both male and female African elephants have tusks, only male Asian elephants have tusks. Females don't have tusks. Also, while African elephants have the larger ears that are shaped like the map of Africa, Asian elephants have much smaller ears said to look like the map of India. Also, while African elephants have a single dome on the top of their heads, the Asian elephant has two domes and while the African elephant has a back that dips in the middle, the Asian elephant has a more hump-shaped back. Also, in terms of their trunks, Asian elephants have only one finger on the edge of their trunk, while African elephants have two. The Asian elephant is much smaller than the African elephant. A fully grown Asian elephant weighs 3,000 to 5,000 kilograms or 6,600 to 11,000 pounds. They are 6.5 to 7.7 .7 meters or 21 to 25 feet long and they can stand up to 3 meters or 9.8 feet tall at the shoulder. But in terms of their behaviors, Asian elephants are kind of similar to African elephants. Like with African elephants, female Asian elephants live in family herds that are led by the oldest female, known as the matriarch, and every elephant in the herd is related to each other. Moms, sisters, cousins, daughters, grandkids, etc. Although Asian elephant herds are usually smaller than those of African savanna elephants. But, again, like African elephants, male Asian elephants live alone. They always leave their natal herd upon reaching maturity. There are four different subspecies of Asian elephant, and they are the Indian ah! elephant, the Sri Lankan elephant, the Sumatran elephant, and the Bornean elephant. Elephants form very strong bonds with each other, especially in their herds. And it is true that elephants never forget. Whenever an elephant comes across a distant cousin or old friend, they have a wide variety of greetings, such as locking tusks and stroking each other with their trunks. And while there is no such thing as an elephant graveyard, elephants do indeed mourn their dead. And they communicate with each other in a wide variety of vocalizations. As we all know, they do trumpet, but they also rumble in a deep rumble that was initially thought to be a sound of indigestion. And they can hear vibrations through their feet and communicate in vocalizations that are too low in frequency for humans to hear. In the wild, elephants eat grass, tree bark, branches, leaves, roots, and fruit. And an elephant can consume up to 300 pounds of food each day, and they eat for up to 14 hours a day. They have to eat this much because they're only able to digest a very small portion of their food. And of course, the elephant spends the hottest part of each day either wallowing in mud or bathing in a stream, river, or water hole. 
The mud acts as their sunscreen and protects them from biting flies. Plus, elephants are excellent swimmers and usually use their trunks like snorkels. Female elephants have only one calf at a time and the calf is born after a gestation period of 18 to 22 months. And right from birth, the calf gets plenty of care from every elephant in the herd. Some will even nurse calves that are not their own. Weaning occurs by about four years old and they reach maturity at about 14 years old. When females are fully grown, they stay with their natal herd for their whole lives. But upon reaching maturity, males will leave the herd to temporarily live in small bachelor herds. Elephants can live to be up to 70 years old. The Asian elephant is a keystone species within the forests of Southeast Asia. When elephants push down trees, they help prevent overgrowth, create paths for other animals to use, and they provide food to other herbivores that would otherwise not have access to said food. And dead elephants sometimes provide food for carnivores and the elephant's <clears throat> leavings act as fertilizer and help disperse seeds. Unlike African elephants, Asian elephants have a long history of working for man. For centuries, people in Asia have used elephants for the logging industry, to carry heavy loads, to carry tourists on their backs, as weapons of war, even as a method to execute prisoners. And many Asian cultures hold elephants as sacred. For example, the Hindu god Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, has the head of an elephant. However, in spite of these good relations, the Asian elephant is an endangered species. Its main threat is habitat loss, as the jungles of Southeast Asia are being cleared away to make room for farms, plantations, and cities. But, just like with African elephants, male Asian elephants are sometimes poached for their ivory tusks. There are currently between 1,200 and 2,400 Asian elephants left in the wild. Well, that was it. My Wild Asia episode on the Asian elephant. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your requests in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba, out.